My name is Karen Ward, and the title of my talk today is Intro to In-Person, Tips and Tricks for the Physical Classroom. Back in 2020, we faced a tremendous challenge. That was taking Carpentry's workshops, which until that point had been taught entirely in person, and figuring out how to teach them online. Our community came together and made that happen with unbelievable success. Now it's 2022 and we're starting to get requests for in-person workshops again. But since 2020, we've certified almost 1500 new instructors. And that means we have almost 1500 people who may never have had the opportunity to teach a Carpentries workshop in person. If that's you, this talk is for you. A few features of a Carpentries classroom. First, sticky notes. We don't use the green check or the red X that you might have on Zoom. We use two different colors of sticky notes stuck to a laptop or screen. These can be used to indicate I'm good, I'm ready to progress, or I'm stuck. We recommend that people use these during instruction and remind learners to use them themselves frequently. And we actually recommend not using red and green, which aren't visible to all color phenotypes, but maybe choosing colors like blue and yellow, which are more universally distinguishable. Helpers circulate the room and watch for those sticky notes and other signs of struggle. When they come to help, they need to remember to assist without typing. This is not a temptation we have in an online workshop, but it can be very tempting in person. They need to hold back and let the learner learn as much as possible. Noise can be an issue, especially when there's a lot of helpers engaged. We recommend pausing when there's a lot of helpers or noise building in a room and letting things settle down. Regardless of noise, use a microphone if there is one available, even if you think you're a loud person. This is the number one feedback that we get um, for, re, with regard to accessibility is participants who aren't able to hear in certain parts of the room. Really does help. Um, and customize the seating. If you have that opportunity to play with your room, to change the lighting, to change the seating, to change the whiteboard space, um, there's a lot you can use. The room in the photograph probably had tables of ranged in rows when they got there. Um, make sure your helpers do have room to get around and try to think about everybody having the best view. The host role also has some new dimensions in person. As with online, we really recommend that hosts not have teaching duties because there is plenty that can be involved in the host role. At an in-person event, this can include things like reserving a room. At many campuses, that alone can be a pretty big job. Checking accessibility, power outlets, and supplies in the room, like cables, batteries, markers, all that stuff, and securing them if they aren't available in the room, making sure that they are available. Managing travel arrangements for any of the instructional team who may be coming from out of town. Sending instructions, location of the event, parking, break times, things like lunch. If you are or are not providing lunch, letting people know what the arrangements will be, plus all the technical stuff that you usually have to send, like software installation and so forth. And arranging refreshments. We do recommend those where you can. Not always possible, but if you can squeeze all up the funding, it makes a big difference to offer something to folks during the break time. Classroom management at an in-person event has some differences. Um, there are pros and cons to teaching in person. One of the pros is that you have more options for communication. You can have side chats, you can catch people during an exercise and kind of say a couple of words. And oftentimes that can take care of things nice and early. You can give people looks, <laughs> there's other, you just have more at your disposal at an in-person event. However, you don't have a mute button and you can't just boot people out of your meeting on a moment's notice. You can't just click a button to do that. Um, in person and online though, the same thing is true. Breaks are your friend. If you get into trouble, Call an unscheduled break if you need to. This is an opportunity. Um, you can always divert advanced discussion to a break. Um, if people are asking too many hard questions or trying to take over your event. Um, but for any kind of a problem, that's a good opportunity to discuss with your team to take action or get help. We always recommend reviewing the code of conduct before an event. Um, 
especially for an in-person workshop, you may want to have a look at our code of conduct incidents response guidelines and make sure that you're familiar with them before your event. And we are still in a global pandemic. So be clear about your policies, be consistent in how you apply them, be kind and be accessible. Provide alternatives wherever you can or accommodations. If you have questions, get in touch. Thank you for your time. <laughs>